Today on Tracker Studios, we're taking a look at the fretless Warwick Rock Bass Classic Corvette Four String. So what are we looking at today? On the body of this base, we have an alder body with a AAA flame veneer finish. We've got two active MEC J configuration pickups, a two-piece Warwick bridge, and knobs, which are as follows, volume, blend, treble, and bass. The neck is a bolt-on maple neck with a Kanga veneer stripes and a tiger stripe ebony fingerboard. Let's look at some sound samples of this base. For the purposes of simplifying things, uh, the treble and bass knobs will just be at noon. So we'll just be worrying about the blend for right now. So this is going to be all the way towards the neck pickup. Now we're going to blend them. pick up for that good old Jocko tone. So for the sake of keeping things simple, while I explain the two EQ knobs, I'm going to keep the pickups blended. So, I'm going to boost the treble. So, boosting my treble knob gives me much more punch in my tone and the volume increases slightly. If I cut it, the sound becomes really muddy and the volume decreases as well. And a similar thing happens with the bass. If I boost it, I get a very fat tone out of this. And if I cut it, well, it just becomes very tinny. So obviously using these two knobs in combination with the pickup blend, there is a huge variety of sounds you can get with this one bass. So, my final thoughts on this instrument, this is an absolutely brilliant fretless bass for anybody who's looking to get into it without spending an arm and a leg on, say, uh, a Fender uh, jazz bass, which is kind of the archetype of like the fretless bass, thanks to guys like Jocko. Um, 
the tones you can get on this thing are fantastic, and you can actually emulate that Jocko tone by isolating the bridge pickup and getting that traditional Jocko bark. Uh, I would recommend this bass to truly anybody. This is a phenomenal bass. So this has been my review with Trico Studios. This is Shane signing off.